Hello! Um, I haven't done a video in quite a while because I haven't really had the feeling or inspiration to do it so it's not because I've been lazy or not caring about it. I actually have been thinking about it but I only ever do videos when I have the need to do it. And um, today I found this video called... it was on Facebook and it was, go it was trashing the education system basically and it was this guy rapping and he was... it was called... Um, man sues the, the education system and then he basically talks about how in the last 150 years example i think it was 150 years cars have changed a lot um technology's changed a lot um but the education system is exactly the same we still sit in a class with a bunch of people put our hands up sitting in a row um still writing, still doing tests, so it was a lot on that and it was saying that um, the current education system was there for the past, it helped the past and now because of the future we've developed, we need to start developing our education system as well. So it just spoke about how now there are new problems in the world and the old, the current education system is outdated and it's not actually helping with anything. Um, and then you also brought up the comment. Um, you know the Einstein quote that says, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree, it will spend its whole life believing it's stupid. And that's a huge factor of what the current education system is doing. Um, it's very much write tests, study. Um, it's kind of the same sort of blocks and, well, categories of what you you have to do a certain number of things and if you don't get a good mark then you're an idiot according to this thing according to the current education system so then you get people who are doing badly at school and then suddenly they think that they're idiots because that's that's what the education system kind of tell, like teaches you and I thought like maybe this was a sort of outdated belief that the school's such a sort of robot place but no, I, I don't think so. I think it's actually really bad and yeah, there need to be changes. So, um, one of the things which I think the education system isn't helping people do is find what they should actually be doing in the world. Um, I don't know about you, I'm pretty sure this happens to you, I'm pretty sure it happens to most students. You spend your high school career and people are saying what are you going to do when you leave school what are you going to do when you leave school and you have no idea for me i had no idea i still don't really have an idea of what i'm supposed to be doing because school systems don't actually help you work out what you want to do school only prepares you for university and finding a job and so anything it, it only cares about you trying to make money um um, for me, uh, I don't know if you believe in the right and left brain. I've had a conversation with some people and they don't believe it. But anyway, um, my brain is suited to do maths and accounting and business. And um, I went for an aptitude test and I said that I should be a CA. And when I went for the aptitude test, I actually wanted to be a journalist. And then the guy wrote a piece of, on a piece of paper and he was like, this is what a CA earns and this is what a journalist earns. So, and then everyone was kind of like, oh, we suggest that you go do the CA and then you can do the little journalist hobby on the side or do, do your writing or whatever on the side because then, then you're going to have m more money. And it was all about money is basically what I thought they all thought. And then still the whole of high school, I had literally had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, I left school, so I still actually didn't know what to do. I, I applied, firstly I applied for a BCom general at university and then, but it was, an, it was a double major actually. And then I changed it because I saw there was this one thing that it was, it was PPE, so BCom PPE, it's politics, philosophy and economics. So I thought, you know, this is kind of a, a big range of subjects that, so I should do this because it kind of, it was, seems like a broad thing, don't you think? So then um, I went and then I was like, you know what, this actually isn't a broad sort of thing because each subject is, has its own silo and I felt like the subjects that I was learning 
they didn't they were they so they like silos they there's no integration and it's basically I, I didn't think any of them were particularly creative um but they're all logical and it, the only thing the only the only thing subjects actually deal with is logic and everything is either logic or creative i haven't done any creative subjects but i don't know yeah um so that was one thing I found is a problem with the education system is that it doesn't, it's, you are in school to become part of the system, to become sort of a number and to add to the economy. They don't care about what your purpose is or what you should be doing in the world. And you know what, I think that's a big problem is because there are, uh, like right now there's a lot of problems in the world. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of wars, fighting now, economic problems they were in a drought right now um political problems all these different problems and i personally believe that if every single person did what they were supposed to do in the world listen to what their passion and whatever so if you were like i always wanted to be an artist and then you actually did that then i feel like if every single person did what they were supposed to do in the world i think there would be a, less problems like a lot of problems would be solved um, another thing I found wrong with the education system was, as I said just now, there's only a, sort of one type of intelligence. If you got good marks, then you were like this massive hero, yeah, good for you, but then kind of like if you got a bad mark, no one really took you seriously. Um, for me, I did really well in school, I got like 80s and stuff, but I did always like talk to people who, I had more friends who were getting bad marks and for me I thought that they offered things that I didn't know and I was like how do marks even tell you I mean then I've had conversations with people who have done like getting a hundred percent example and I'm like well you're not really teaching me anything about anything important if that makes sense I don't mean to offend anyone but um, at one stage in school there was um, there was this group and it was a philosophy group and then I was like okay cool like that's quite cool how now like they're kind of developing philosophy discussion and then like I rocked up and then I discovered that only the top 10 had been invited and then I thought like so yeah this is cool how now we, we like go we need to we need to have a discussion so we can have um talk about different things in the world and then I said I was thinking I don't know if I don't think I did say anything but I was thinking in my head um why are, is the top 10 why are they the only people here because sorry if you're gonna have a philosophy group you need all different types of people and that means that you need to get the people who are getting like 40 percent because they know things that an 80 percent student may not know so that's something um which i thought was problematic was basically school just had certain types of people were um taken seriously and other types weren't and I mean I've seen it before where um, someone could be failing example and then I would notice that person was so intelligent in other things like there was this one person this one guy um, he used to notice like like he did terribly in school but he used to notice like spelling mistakes on the board um, also like we were doing these brain teaser things and he was the person who was like able to sort of do all of them and I was like but you're doing like so badly at school you look you looked at like you looked at as like such a loser and a failure and stuff by teachers and the people around you but like you can do these things that the rest of us can't um, another problem with school is that we only do writing and reading and like doing speeches that's the only sort of intelligence there is even doing like speaking it's not really much um, you have to basically be good at writing in order to do well, I think, at school. Um, another thing I thought was wrong about the school, I'm just going on about all the things are wrong, but I mean that's the point of this thing. That, um, I actually wanted to do videos because of the education system and how bad I thought it is. It still is bad in tertiary and primary, but um, I remember in geography, uh, I, didn't, I didn't take geography in like grade 10 and stuff but I remembered we had to do it obviously beforehand and then I remember in the one test there was a question that said um, the dam it said something about 
um, I can't remember the question because I can't remember geography, but it said something about the dam is um, overflowing or something. Now, how do we solve the solution? And it was something it was relevant to the country. So it said these are the current problems that are going on in the in the country. Now, come up with a solution. And then I was like, okay, cool, do the solution. Next test, exact same question. And I was thinking, like, what is the actual point of asking people questions if you aren't going to take the answers? I mean. In my opinion, the youth and the students are the people who know the, the solutions and the answers. And then you're giving them a question, but you actually aren't... Why, why are we asking the same questions all the time instead of just asking the question and actually using... <laughs> like, instead of asking the question and then getting the answer and actually implementing it? So, sorry, there shouldn't be the same question. I mean, it's probably the same... It was probably... Uh, the same question had been there for like five years it's probably still in the grade eight curriculum or whatever but i'm just like why do we keep asking the same questions instead of actually implementing it so that's kind of why i thought school was a bit pointless um but basically i wanted to do this video because um i know there's this whole fees must fall movement currently and um <laughs> my thoughts on it is that we actually need to fix the education system before we start demanding you don't really want to demand something that's broken in my, in my opinion we need to start like looking at the current education system and fixing it before we decide what's free and what's not free because right now honestly I think people are demanding something that's in my opinion isn't actually benefiting anybody um, like yeah maybe there are like certain good things about um, education which is helpful and and also the thing is I went to I went to one of these little panel thingies with a bunch of experts to go out there and start giving you their opinion about certain things and again it's the same type of people who go up and give the speech because obviously it's just a silo and they only want certain people they don't implement everybody so anyway they went up and then um, they were saying like uh the importance of tertiary education and in my head i was like you know what if tertiary education is too late we need to start developing you need to you need to start from a two-year-old and you have to have the best you need to have better quite the education for a two-year-old needs to be better i think for a 20-year-old and also something I've been thinking is, do we really have to go to school for so long? Like, why are we in school for so long? I don't understand why we just sit plonked in a, in a room and now I don't really get the point. There's still problems going around and no, there's no engagement with the youth to solve the problems in the world. And I think, I think that's a problem. Um, I also wanted to say in terms of teachers and stuff, I don't understand why teachers are getting such little salaries because as I said a teacher is someone who is the foundation of what the child what a child believes of themselves for the rest of their life and then they get like minimum wage they, they get paid terribly and I think it's such an important job um, a teacher it's a child spends so much time with a teacher that a teacher is probably one of the most important people in a child's life um, and I think I've met teachers who have actually um, been inspirational, inspired people, but then I've also met some who have quite honestly been quite terrible. But I think the teacher plays such an important part, an important part in the child's life because they, they, are, they should be there to encourage the child, to give them confidence, to say what, you know what, um, Johnny, you're you did quite badly in the test example you got 20 but you know what it's okay because you are over there playing with um the lego and i know that you've always loved creating things and you are going to go out there and you're going to still not even just still you're going to it doesn't it's basically saying that a teacher should be there to say no if you get a bad mark there's other things that you can do and there's no strength that's more important than others because currently in this world i find that um 
they they say like oh yeah like go go do like the creative things and like yeah that stuff is important but in everyone's mind it's still like the ca is more important than the the dancer example and like i just find that it's it's so wrong because there are some people who actually their passions lie in being the dancer being the actor being the singer those sort of things and then they they don't they feel bad to do that stuff because they are so discouraged by teachers and the rest of the world so that's another sort of thing that i find is wrong well that's basically just the problems that i find with the education system and i think it's going to have to change because if we don't change our education system we're going to be stagnant and the problems are just going to build up build up build up and as you can you can really see people are more stressed more depressed they hate their jobs um i kind of said this earlier but i think one of the another problem of the education system is that it's kind of teaching people that they have to they're going to have to suffer and work hard in order to succeed you have to like all this stuff that it teaches people which i don't really think well it's not true i don't think you have to get certain marks in order to pass in life you, happiness does not depend on money or um wealth or status or it, no happiness and stuff is inside of you and um a big factor that can add to happiness is doing what a person actually um feels they need to do so i just think that there should be more encouragement and just helping people everybody knows inside of them i 100 percent believe that i think everybody knows deep down inside what they really want to do what their actual passions are and i feel like our education system should be focusing on students saying hello john um what do you want to do like let's do a bunch of things and try work out what you want to do not like okay john let's just go here's a test do the test john um yeah let's mark the test oh john um yay you got 80 percent now your life is all set for the rest of your life or oh john you got 20 percent um hmm, you're gonna have to go for extra lessons now and um we we aren't focusing on john like john is just becoming a thing that needs to pass in order to go get a job and that's not helping the world it's not helping any of us we need to say john what do you want to do and then john's like you know what i really like um dancing example and then you know if john actually focused all his energy and stuff into dancing there could be there's nothing wrong with dancers i mean that's like amazing that someone wants to do that so we need to be investing in what people want to do and not for the system i also wanted to add that when education is done properly it can be amazing when teachers are actually there when a teacher becomes a teacher because that's their purpose and they just want to want the best for a child to make the child grow then i think that can be really amazing um i've been to this one township in moy rafir and when i was there i went to the school that was there and then i was speaking to the principal there and it was like it was actually such an amazing experience because she went into her office, like she took me to her office. I mean, it was like, it was in a township, so um, it wasn't state of the art anything. But then she was so proud of her students. She showed me pictures of all the kids who had graduated and it just, it made me feel so happy. Like, cause she, she, she like, she looked like she was gonna start crying just because she was so passionate about it. Um, and I was thinking, my gosh, like to have a teacher like that, like that's just absolutely incredible. Um, and then also I spoke to another teacher who went there and she said, well, I asked her, I was like, why do you like teaching? Like, what's the most enjoyable thing? And she said she liked how she gets to teach her, um, she, she said that she likes to, she, she likes how she gets to teach the children things and she likes how they teach her things. And like for me, I think that's the most important part about education, how you teach them things and kids can teach you. So if you have any comments or whatever, or anything to add, please comment below. And thank you for watching.